Oh boy, here we go. The irrational fear of bats. Apparently, just saying the word chiroptophobia could ruin someone's day. But I imagine none of those people are watching this video because it's chock full of bats. But let's be real, bats aren't little monsters. They're mostly just fluttering around, eating bugs, fruits, and nectar. Yet for some, bats are up there with the monster under the bed. So why did these little weaned weirdos become such villains? Okay, bats are night dwellers, which basically means they got a spooky curfew. And for some reason, that just automatically equals dark magic in the human brain. They're flying around in the dark, they're shadowy, they're small, and their favorite hangouts are caves. In a world lit by creepy flickering aural lamps, people saw this and were like, oh yeah, that's totally a harbinger of doom. Plus, centuries ago, Shakespeare apparently thought it'd be thematically accurate to have the fallen angel Ariel ride a bat, which just added fuel to the bats equal evil narrative. So bats are like, hey, I'm a mammal that flies, deal with it. And humans, being super chill with things they don't understand, decided that anything in between had to be creepy. Halloween is full of these liminal things. The day destroys the night. The night divides the day. Try to run. Try to hide. Break on through to the other side. You get the point. Bats are somehow like Halloween's unofficial mascot for stuff that doesn't quite fit. Now let's talk vampires. Because for some reason, nothing ruins a bat's reputation like linking it to vampires. Enter Bram Stoker, who decided that Dracula could shapeshift into a bat. Quincy Morris, one of his characters, sees a bat flying out a window and immediately concludes, oh yeah, that's definitely Dracula. And just like that, bats went from kinda odd bouquet to blood-sucking demon spawn. Thanks, Bram. And here comes Halloween. The Celtic festival of Samhain involves big bonfires that attract bugs, which attract bats, hungry for their favorite buffet. When Irish and Scottish immigrants brought Samhain traditions to America, bats started showing up in spooky decor and seasonal lore. Some bats even swarm around this time of year because they're prepping for hibernation, adding to the Bats or Halloween Spirits vibe. Finally, we're just freaked out by things we don't understand. And bats are weird, okay? They're like these little flying shadows. And even scientists are like, yeah, we don't even understand everything about them either. When there's a knowledge gap, that's where myth and fear starts creeping in. Bats are Halloween icons, but they're also kind of unsung heroes of the ecosystem. They're out there eating all the bugs, saving farmers billions in pest control, and even pollinating plants we love, like avocados, bananas, peaches, and mangoes. So while they give us a bit of a scare, these little night owls are actually out here being tiny superheroes for the planet. I want to personally thank you for watching this episode, and this is what I want you to do now. Hit that subscription button, because we can't do this without you. I mean, we could, it just wouldn't be as fun.